How cool is this? We got Phil Collin on from Def Leppard on the line here. And uh, how cool is that? You're just uh, buzzing in, I'm sure, to talk about your 58-city tour that you got coming up with Journey. Yeah, well, that's just the start of it because then, then we got to do the rest of the world. So, yeah, absolutely. It's pretty cool. Yeah, 58 cities and then the rest of the world. I mean, it sounds like, like a ton, but this is what you guys do. You're so used to it. Right. No, it's amazing. It, it really does. And, and, and especially as it's, it's one of the most important things for us playing live. And, you know, getting that live show up and running and all that stuff. So, yeah, no, it's, that's, that's always a highlight, really. We are looking forward to you being here uh, July 3rd at the Ruoff Home Mortgage Music Center. And, of course, this tour you are co-headlining once again with Journey. This show is massive. I mean, is there another word that you can use? I mean, what what a... <coughs> I mean, this is going to be hit after hit after hit. We just played a, um, a show like a few weeks ago. It's our first show in about six months, Def Leppard. And uh, we, we played the Royal Albert Hall in London. Uh, we, it was for the Teenage Cancer Trust. And it was one of the best shows we've ever done. It, 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 everything was just amazing. The audience was great. The venue was great. The the event, you know, what we were doing it for was cool. And uh, we just sounded amazing. I was actually shocked it was that good after, the, you know, after a six-month break. And, right. Uh, well, sometimes a little bit of rest does a body good. I guess so, yeah. But, you know, even... even <laughs> Even like how we were playing, you know, I think, you know, I just done this tour with Joe Satriani and, and John uh-huh. Trucci's G3 tour. And I think that really upped my guitar playing. So there's a, you know, that was, that was really cool. But everyone in, in our band, you know, the singing was, was spectacular and Joe yeah. sounded amazing. So, yeah, I mean, that sounds great. I mean, out on the road with Joe Satriani, I mean, the guitar great you guys are, man, you can't help but to probably hone in off one another. Absolutely. Yeah. It kind of, it really, really kind of um, chases you. It just, just makes you, um, you know, raise the bar really so yeah that was cool right and of course uh for the first time i I want to say was this past january the entire Def leopard catalog is finally available on all digital platforms so that must be a relief to you guys it it is you know that that was a long time coming we we didn't want to just um release our stuff like everyone else did you know i think it was um we, we felt that the stuff had more value. You know, it was good holding out. We we really put value on, on what we do. You, you know? absolutely so, did. There is absolutely no so, question about yeah. that. Yeah. So you played with Joe. Uh, you honed in on your guitar skills. Then Def Leppard, you know, they, they go out to this charitable event that you just talked about. And everybody sounds fantastic. And and everybody sounds fresh and, and well-rested and all that good stuff. So when you were out there, this past one here for this charitable uh, event, what was your yeah. favorite song to perform again that felt really good that you're like yeah it feels great to be on stage playing this particular song you know it just it just felt really good playing stuff like hysteria and love bites so, so, and i don't usually like that i'm not not like kind of the ballad king i'm not really kind of sure. i like playing rock songs when we're playing live but uh-huh. for some reason it just it, everything just sounded great you were tapping into your inner inner soft side it sounds like for that particular i think uh, so yeah this is not your first rodeo with journey by the way right yeah so you're right. going back out you were early 2000s i want to say is the last time you were together on a double bill, but uh, how do you think it maybe this time yeah. is going to be a little bit different than that time? Have you thought about that at all well, yet? Yeah, yeah, we've wanted to do it since then. I mean, we finished that one in 2006, and we were like, wow, that was great. Let's do that again. And this is the first time we've, we've been able to, you know, with, with uh, you know, everyone's been bit so busy and they've been doing all these other things, touring and recording and everything. Uh-huh. And this is the first time it kind of worked out that we could both do it together. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm just a bit surprised that we didn't do it sooner. Well, it was- again, it's kind of like the waiting game as far as all of your cat- catalog being available digitally you know i mean look at the yeah. value you placed on it so now here you go it's been this long people are running out to get tickets to this show because it's just going to be phenomenal it's going to be hit after hit after hit let me ask you this uh, do you ever get a chance to watch the other bands or do you even want to at this point like you know when you first go out maybe check out a little bit of journey's set always actually on, on the last tour yeah i, I ended up playing as well and i jam with them at sound check and that occasionally uh so they're they're an awesome band they're just like uh, just great as a as individually they're amazing but as a, as a band they're really special and the, and the songs on top of that is, is something even even more so so i definitely check them out right sure, on that's you know, that's like, very cool you guys are fans of each other i mean that's that's a pretty nice yeah. uh tip of the hat for sure all right so we all know that uh, you're in phenomenal shape everybody's got a cheat day all right what do you do on cheat day well i i love um indian food and, indian. and, and I, well i love salsa and chips and and there's um you know and there's so many great flavored chips around now like even Doritos <laughs> they they do this um you, uh, they do one vegan um chip because everything else has got like milk or, or stuff in it and cheese and right. this one thing and that's that's kind of my cheat day it's the, you know I, I definitely have cheat days in French fries obviously all, all the all the regular stuff you oh know. good yeah the French Absolutely. fries who can, who can deny French fries well I tell 
Australia. All right, uh, talking to Phil Collin of Def Leppard here, and how about a really quick game of this or that? You got time? Sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Let, let's pull it out of the air. Pony or pot belly pig? I, I've got a great story about pot belly pig. I'm just standing right outside my driveway now, and, and next door they had a Vietnamese pot belly pig, and <laughs> it actually wasn't. It ended up being a regular pig, but it was the family pet by then, and it had grown this giant thing. <laughs> oh, my. Hiding behind this bush that I'm looking at right now. I got to love uh, it. He was huge. All right, so pot and belly pig. Spicy or mild? Spicy. Math or science? Science. Boxers or briefs? Uh, briefs. It, it varies. I, I I do both, and I, I never used to do any, but now I do both. Now so. you do both. Okay, yeah, well, you, you give it a yeah. shot. You know, you don't know what the other one's like unless you try it. All right, uh, yeah. the steam room or the sauna? Steam room. <laughs> Netflix or Hulu? Netflix. Well, I haven't got a Hulu account, so I don't really know, and I can't really comment on it, but I've got Netflix, and it's great. So, I'm with you. Exactly the same. Okay, Monopoly or Scrabble? I get frustrated with Monopoly. Actually, I get Monopoly. Okay, yeah. and finally, uh, late nights or early mornings? Yeah, I'm, I'm up every morning. So I'm up at six every morning anyway. So, oh, wow. Yeah, I, okay. I, I, I suffer from, from late nights. So even if we're on, on tour, I still, late night, I still wake up at six in the morning. So it's a bit weird. It is a bit weird. But hey, you know what? Yeah. You're, you're looking good. You're feeling good. You're nice and healthy. And why not, right? Live the day. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. Well, Phil Collin, Def Leppard, we are looking forward to seeing you guys here at the Ruoff Home Mortgage Music Center in Indianapolis coming up on July 3rd. It's going to be a great way to continue on like a nice long holiday weekend, if you will, even though it's on a Tuesday. <laughs> but we are certainly looking yeah. forward to having you and Journey here. Have safe travels, and we'll see you in July. Thank you so much, and we'll see you out there. Look, looking forward to it.